What will you do to fight the influence of big money in politics? Uh, the question goes first to Ms. McGinty. Thank you very much. As, as I said at the outset, you know, uh, dark money and money in politics really threatens our democracy more than just about anything else. It is drowning out a person's right to have their voice heard. It's at the root as to why in this Commonwealth, while we have a million Democratic voter registration advantage, that gerrymandering holds sway, and that gerrymandering eviscerates one person, one vote. It's the reason why, <laughs> you know, you, you step back and you say, well, why the heck is it that we have an economy that doesn't work for people anymore? All you have to do is follow the money. It's about Citizens United. It's about that dark money. It's about those secret checks. You know, people say, how could it be that in today's day and age, people are getting paid the same as they were essentially 40 years ago, while tuition has increased and health care costs have increased? Well, all you have to do is look at the fact that for the CEOs, CEOs in the 80s made 30 times the amount of the average employee. Today they make 400 times the amount of the average employee. That's something we can't afford. That is brought to you by Koch brothers' money. That is brought to you by secret campaign contributions. And I will do everything in my power to end that and restore the real promise of democracy.